Hey, this is Brian Terrian from the Disability Digest, and uh, today I'm going to talk to you about when you should speak to your attorney, uh, non-attorney, lawyer, disability lawyer. I am not a lawyer. I'm not a doctor. I don't play either on TV. Uh, but in my experience of running the Disability Digest, we've helped literally thousands of people, over 10,000 people get approved. Um, some have used attorneys and some have not, but it's given me the opportunity to meet and interview um, multiple attorneys and understand their practices and how they win cases. So I'm going to share that with you as a boiled down perspective, if you will, of when you should commonly expect to uh, meet with your attorney. So when you're first starting the process, you may speak with the attorney that is going to be uh, overseeing the case, uh, but usually most of the administrative work is actually done by an attorney's team. So you may not speak to them. And in my opinion, it's not necessarily critical that you speak to them in the very beginning, unless you really want to be comfortable with them, um, because you are, in essence, buying the team concept. So that's one aspect of it. And through the updating process of going through the approval uh, stages, uh, your communication, I expect, will be with one of the attorney staff members where you will let them know if you have new diagnosis or increased severity or you've been contacted by Social Security. And again, if you're using a disability uh, attorney, you want to make sure that you get their best practices and what they expect of you. But this is just across the board from uh, you know from what I've experienced in working with a network of 12 or 15 disability attorneys uh, at any given time that help our members out. So the next point that I want to make is when you're getting ready to go to a hearing, a Social Security disability hearing, this is a critical part in your case where a lawyer plays a key role in getting you approved. So, for the person that is going into court with you, you definitely want to meet with them. And what I see that uh, is uh, commonly out there and what works is around the 7 to 10 days before the hearing is you have a meeting with your disability attorney. And that meeting could be over the phone, um, depending on where your attorney's located, or it could be in person if it's, you know, if you're really... Uh, local and close to your attorney and I've they are they all work I've seen them work so and the reason why it's a seven to ten day mark is because there are some aspects of your role uh, in court that you're responsible for and if they're fresh in your mind in the seven to ten day uh, period it's more uh, the probability of you remembering it or in general people remembering it let's put it that way is going to be higher if you meet three months before and have a pre-hearing meeting and don't uh, you know meet again until the day that you're in court mm, not so good uh, because a lot of time has gone by so that's current so then when you meet you understand what your role is what the attorney's role is that's a whole separate video and, and information uh, that you'll gather so uh, that's what you can expect if you if you feel that uh, you know something is is uh, needed above and beyond that for whatever reason. I'm sure if you're working with a representative, um, they would, you know, do their best to accommodate. But again, this is what I see from my perspective um, as a general best practices of what goes on uh, in the industry that's out there. And hopefully this will help you set your expectations um, so that you know when uh, to meet with your attorney and, and what your role is going to be. So this has been Brian Terry and again. Uh, I'm not an attorney, not a lawyer, not a doctor. Don't play one on TV. Uh, disability advocate here at the Disability Digest. We help people get and or maximize their disability uh, benefits with uh, with strategies. And um, that's my assistant Ika who has come in to say hi. You want to say hi to everybody, Ike? Hey, look, say hi. Um, and so if you like the work that we do, there, you can subscribe to this channel. Of course, you can get a free membership. Just uh, look down uh, below and you'll see that there's a free membership that you can get. Um, and we'll walk you through whatever aspect of the disability um, phase that you're in and, and help you either get or maximize your disability benefits. 
Again, Brian Terrian, make it a great day.